Prime Minister Stephen Harper has spoken publicly on the Senate scandal for the first time since the drama unfolded on Parliament Hill. You watched it here live on AM Agenda just moments ago. He's lost his chief of staff and two senators into the spending scandal. And now the NDP wants to involve the RCMP. Jessica Hume is back from Ottawa with the latest there. Jessica. Hey, Pat. So, yeah, Stephen Harper has finally addressed this uh, expense scandal plaguing the Senate. So uh, he just spoke moments ago, as you mentioned, uh, 9.30, he was speaking to caucus. He said he was very upset. He's not happy. He addressed specifically that he's unhappy with uh, behavior, not just of parliamentari some parliamentarians, but also of members of his own office. So uh, this is a significant uh, event. Uh, you know, by all accounts, I think most uh, observers were kind of skeptical that he would actually uh, address this head on, but uh, he did. He also uh, addressed the whole issue of Senate reform. He kind of uh, appropriated this issue as something that conservatives have always been lobbied for. Now, um, been lobbying for rather. Uh, I said uh, about half an hour ago after we had just watched the speech that uh, you know this were the, what we saw in there was very similar tactics to what we see in question period. So um, he did address the scandal. Uh, he didn't name anybody. He didn't name Mike Duffy. He didn't name. Uh, Nigel Wright. He didn't name Senator uh, or former, uh, sorry, he didn't name Pamela Wallen. Uh, so he's kind of, you know, upset about general bad behavior. But uh, then he spent the rest of his his speech extolling all the virtuous things that the Conservatives have done in the meantime. So he mentioned strengthening the role of the Auditor General, strengthening the role of the Ethics Commissioner, uh, tightening up lobbying rules and the like. So, uh, you know, he didn't really... Um, he didn't apologize for it. He didn't go into any detail. All he said really was that, you know, there has been some bad behavior and that he's uh, he's upset by it. But uh, as you mentioned, he he uh, he then proceeded to kind of talk about all the great things that the government has done. So, uh, as I've said, this is a very tried and true tactic of the conservatives. Uh, we see it all the time in question period. Now, uh, that said, he did make some fairly strong statements. He said the Senate status quo is not acceptable. Um, he also uh, mentioned as I as I have just said, that Senate reform is something that uh, his party has been in favor for uh, of since the beginning. But um, the 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 detractors, the critics of the Conservative Party, do have a lot to work with right now. Uh, sadly, uh, one thing that's happened is the the NDP, led by Tom Mulcair, is now calling for the RCMP to investigate these uh, Senate expenses. But uh, as the saying goes, it's uh, not adv well advised to. Um, throw rocks when you live in a glass house and one thing that we've seen is uh, now Tom Mulcair seems to be under the microscope a little bit. It, it appears that he was uh, offered uh, a bribe by one Quebec mayor uh, back in 1994 and uh, Mulcair did come forward to uh, to say that he'd been approached with bribe money but he did so 17 years later so uh, you know again it looks like there's some uh, trouble brewing for the NDP on its own turf but uh, of course that didn't stop them from still uh, you know, throwing stones at Stephen Harper himself. But uh, as I mentioned, uh, Stephen Harper now off to Peru to begin uh, a few days in South America to do with uh, bilateral trade agreements. And uh, I think it'll be interesting to see what we hear from other uh, members of the Conservative Party to do with this whole uh, Senate expense scandal throughout the rest of the week. Yeah, we'll look forward to that. Jessica, thanks very much. Thank you.